Okay, here we go. Uh, a couple of old antique locks to take a look at today. Uh, these uh, were rummaged around in my boxes of bits and pieces and I come across these and I thought you might find them interesting. So one's a trick lock, which is this one here. And this one's just an, an old lock. Uh, there's no real particular trick to it. But if you take a look at the lock and if you take a look at the, the weathering and bit, bits and pieces, um, you really would think this thing is like Roman and been in the ground for God knows how long uh, and someone's cleaned it up. Uh, and like I say, it's really deteriorated in bits and pieces, but I don't believe that to be the case. Um, here's the key. Uh, I, I really don't believe this is, I think this has been faked to look like it's been really old and in the ground and just cleaned up. I don't believe this is that antique. Uh, there's no real trick to it. You slide the cover across at the front uh, the key just goes in, just a standard all the key, and the lock opens. So no real trick to the physical lock itself. Uh, but I think the mystery of the lock is, is it real or isn't it real? And I don't believe it to be real. I believe it to be clever workmanship by someone to make it look like it had been buried in the ground for a very long time. Uh, but what do you think? Okay, and then we got this other one here, which is another... Uh, this is a beautiful trick lock, and this one is a genuine um, antique lock. Uh, here's the key. Key's a little unusual because the bit is opposite to the bow, which means it's worn as well here, which is uh, you know, showing some signs of its age. Uh, I would say 1800s. Uh, and here's the walling on the key. So that's, a, that's that's quite a nice key, but unusual the setup of the key. Uh, and then you'll explore the lock, and you'll notice something moves on the lock but it doesn't seem to do anything uh, and you can take a very good look around the lock and you don't really understand and then eventually through playing about of it you'll realize that this button will push and the door will open which is great and then you'll put the key inside the lock turn the key which throws the bolt and the and well it opened, but it shouldn't have opened because it's not opening now, so it can't have been clicked in properly. But the shackle doesn't come open automatically. And just like we had on another recent one, if we pull the lever to one side, then the shackle will open. So there is a, a lever connection inside, just at the back here. So there's a little notch on the back here. And it's just taking a little spring in the back now that you probably can't see it's too dark but yeah so when it's shut it shouldn't open uh but when you pull that across then it will open so uh a couple of nice tricks of this one again uh and just to sh just to show you that you know when when you're collecting stuff to be to be wary of when you're buying stuff try to buy stuff from reliable sources of people you know uh i wasn't tricked into believing this was an old person this is of a friend of mine uh and, and obviously no one's you know clear of exactly what it is but you know it was a reasonable price for me to buy so i was happy to buy it uh this was obviously uh purchased uh, at one of our collection auctions at uh, uh, one of our collectors meetings uh and again i picked that up for a good price so you know i know what both of these locks are and where they came from so i hope you like them cheers